Hello, in this week's Aflux video tutorial, you will learn how to use the normal curvature and mesh curvature nodes to add dirt and worn edges to your models. The normal curvature node takes as input a normal image and finds the average curvature between the normals around each pixel. The normal curvature node has three outputs, curvature, convex and concave. The mesh curvature node takes as input the mesh in the scene and a normal image and finds the average curvature between the normals around each pixel. The mesh curvature node has three outputs, curvature, convex, and concave. In this scene, I have this model with a normal image. We'll use the mesh curvature node to add some dirt to hard to reach zones, and scratches to exposed edges. The model material is defined by a Bornoi 3D texture in the Albedo channel, a white image for metalness, and a mid-gray image for roughness. The edges of the model have been smoothed with a normal image, generated by the Mesh Smooth Normal node. The two screws were added using the Stamp node, and mixed with the Smooth Normal image and the Albedo image. I have a perlin texture ready to be used as dirt, and a rich multi-texture to be used for the scratches. Let's generate a curvature image from the Normal image. From the 3D nodes group, drag and drop a normal curvature node. The radius defines the size of the area around each pixel that will be evaluated for curvature. The range slider allows us to adjust the maximum curvature value, giving more contrast to the output image. I will connect the outputs to the occlusion input on scene textures, and use the debug shader to show the images. The node has three outputs, curvature, Convex, which holds the exposed edges and Concave, which shows the corners. For this project, we'll use instead the Mesh Curvature node, which also uses the Mesh surface for generating the curvature images. The Mesh Curvature node can be found in the 3D nodes group. Drag and drop the node into the graph. Set the size to 1024 by 1024. Set the radius to 1 and set the range to 0 0.05. As with the normal curvature node, the mesh curvature node shows both convex and concave results on the curvature output, and the convex and concave outputs. Turn off the debug shader and delete the occlusion connection. I will use the convex output to add there to hard to reach corners on the model on the albedo channel. A mask node to the dirt output and connect the concave output to the mask input. Connect the masked image to the mix albedo node. Now we can see some dirt on these corners and around the screws. Let's use the convex output to show some scratches on the exposed edges of the model. Connect the convex output to the mask input on the blend normal node. Add a new mix normal node before the scene textures normal input and connect the blend normal output. And we can now see scratches on all exposed edges of the model. This is how you can use the normal curvature and mesh curvature nodes to add dirt and worn edges to your models. Many thanks to Dimitri for suggesting this node and workflow. Thank you for watching this Pixelflux video tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Google+.